Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Eric Oren. Well, good Monday, my good Monday morning, everybody. I'm already getting ahead of myself, and the week just began. Let's take a look at the temperatures across the state. We're looking a little chillier in southeastern Oregon, but in general, we're in the 40s and 50s. We even see some 60-degree temperatures here this morning. Uh, today is going to be a fairly rainy day. Uh, we have a ch strong chance of it, anyhow. Uh, let's take a look at the parking lot at the Redmond Airport. Currently 47 degrees temperature-wise, and there is some humidity. Uh, as I mentioned to you, we'll see some moisture coming our way today, uh, but it's going to be a little bit later on. Here's a look at your workday forecast. This one's out of Bend, high of 63 degrees on this one, and sun setting, I'll bring your attention to this, 619 p.m., uh, below 620, if you can believe that, and early this morning, around 50 degrees as you're headed home, should be in the 60s today, and as I mentioned, rain's going to start coming and going probably around 11 and stick with us through the afternoon. Uh, here is a look at some weather headlines for you. We do see cloudy skies in the forecast today, and a chance of rain, very strong chances of rain taking place throughout the day and we do see some dry weather ahead as of tomorrow things should dry out and warm up just a little bit so there is an end in sight now let's take a look at the Pacific Northwest here uh, there's a look at that band of moisture that's making its way now pretty early this morning it's gonna get confined to the coast and west of the Cascades here but let's take a look at that future track and see when we can expect to see some of that activity making its way towards us now here I mentioned to you early this morning and get stuck but as of around 10 a.m. you can see quite a bit of moisture making its way in to Central Oregon and continuing to work its way to the east of us uh, by around 3 o'clock you can see those scattered showers making their way through and then clearing up uh, going into the early morning hours of Tuesday as I mentioned two things should dry out quite a bit starting on Tuesday now winds today are southwesterly and that means they're moving to the northeast and we're looking at the 10 to 15 mile an hour sustained wind range you can see here by around 1 o'clock that's when winds are going to be picking up uh, and then, then generally speaking they're going to get a little bit calmer than that as we make our way through throughout the day. You can see things getting a little more moderate uh, with the exception of Madras, which can be a little bit windier than the rest of the forecast area until we get to the early morning hours of Tuesday. Now here is a look at the temperature in our current area right now. Uh, we see 40s and potentially 50 degree temperatures, just a little bit warmer out of Warm Springs. Uh, chi a fairly chilly morning, but a little warmer than we saw over the weekend because of those clear skies. And the forecast highs today in the 50s and 60s. We see the warmest degrees there out of Warm Springs in the 70s. And, of course, here are the overnight lows. Uh, as I mentioned to you, a little bit warmer than we saw over the weekend. We're looking at 34 out of Lapine and 36 out of Sun River there, respectively, in the southern part of Deschutes County. We see those chillier temperatures. The rest of us looking like the 30s and the, or the low 40s as well. Now, let's take a look at that seven-day forecast headed your way. Uh, now, the smiley's just grumpy. He's doing a face palm today because he's got a tiny little umbrella. He brought the tiny umbrella. I'm not sure why because we do have a pretty strong chance for rain throughout the day today. But as I mentioned to you, things are going to dry out and warm up a little bit tomorrow through the rest of the week, and then we'll see a small chance of some precipitation uh, going into the weekend. But generally speaking, fairly nice. That's been your local alert weather forecast. I'm Eric Warren. Now let's head back to the desk. So I want to know, have either of you, or did you, either of you have the chance to watch the annular eclipse on Saturday? I didn't get to see it, no. I okay. did. I was able to see it. It was so cool, and I got to see kind of the shadows on a piece of paper, and it okay. was impressive. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Yes, I tried to take cool. photos with my phone. It did no justice. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work out. But Eric, question for you. Tell Are me. you a Reba McIntyre fan? Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of you at home may be Reba, Reba fans, like Eric, so this one's for you. A corn maze depicting the likeness of the country singer is attracting fans in North Carolina. Here's an aerial view of this fancy Reba McIntyre corn maze in Indian Trail, North Carolina. It shows the country legend's face, a guitar, and the words, We Heart Reba. This maze is one of the 40 Reba corn mazes across the nation. Oh, that's really the neat. 40 Reba corn mazes? There's Is that what that said? <laughs> That's yeah, a crazy amount. <laughs> I was I'm incredibly surprised by that. That really took me aback. There. There's got to be a lot of Reba fans out there. Oh, wow. I'm that's sure. what that means. That's I mean, so many acres of Reba. <laughs> so many acres of Reba. You're so right. 